foot up. Sitting here getting ready, about to fly out. Like, about to leave here in a few hours, actually, like 4 a.m. Fly out at 9 a.m. to Tampa Trailer Park Boys Cruise. One of the lifetime event. I'm here getting ready. Uh, I got some Trailer Park Boys on. Rick and Leahy. And uh, let me show you what I got working with. First things first. Carrying on. I have lots of experience here. So there's no reason to take it out, but there are eight. Basically, I know there's easier ways to get beat on a plane, but I want to take no chances, safest way possible. So, you know, I rolled out eight of those cigarettes in there, broke up all my weed, mixed it with the, mixed it back in with the tobacco, and then restuffed it. I even freaking. You know, like when you roll out cigarettes, when you, I mean, when you take the tobacco out of them, by, you know, squeeze them and whatnot, kind of fucks them up, gets them all wrinkly. So I even took every other cigarette in the pack and did, and you know, made it wrinkly up and made it look like the ones that I replaced with food. But they're all mixed with food and tobacco. And I even took the package and like crumpled it up as well, so it just looked like it, you know, got smashed somehow. You know, James Bond style, doing things, Mission Impossible. It's probably way over the top. TSA doesn't really care about weed, but I just had to make sure. I've never, never, ever, ever taken drugs or weed on air for it at all. But I had to this time. And so as soon as I get through TSA tomorrow, I'm going to start up another vlog. I'm going to y'all know how it went. So I got that going for the cruise. I'm not worried about getting weed on the cruise. That's easy. But uh, getting booze on a cruise. It's very difficult. There's no reason to show you right now, but I got the shampoos too. The hidden shampoo container. This one has like an actual hidden compartment. Not hidden compartment, but on the top there's a there's like a little tube where you put actual shampoo in. So it masks it even better. So I'll let y'all know about that once I get on the cruise if that worked. And turn out all the stops. It looks a little red. Fortunately, it should be darker than in the water, but corked in there. Uh, there's plenty of videos showing you how to replace wine with whiskey, so I mean, I'm not going to explain it. But I did what they did on YouTube, the plastic bag and everything, so we'll see if that works. i got to put this top back on it, though. Glue it down. Maybe push that cork in there a little more. So again, I'll let you know about that when I get on the cruise. I'm even going to probably buy another little bottle of liquor wine in Tampa and just tape that shit to my fucking thigh. Because they don't have body scanners and cruises, they just got fucking metal detectors, so I'm pretty sure that'll be easy for me to sneak in. One way or another, I'm getting at least one bottle on this fucking cruise. But I'll let y'all know about all that, so tomorrow I'll let you know if I got through with the weed. Wednesday I'll let you know if I got through with the bottle of wine and the shampoos and the shit taped to my thigh. And, uh, yeah. Probably vlog a few times throughout the trip. Gonna be drunk as fuck. Peace.